YouTube, what is up? It is the anonymous sneakerhead, the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game. Back with another video for you guys today, man. And in today's video, man, those of you who have been around the channel for a while, um, know that this year, one thing that I've been doing is every time I pick up a shoe that is at least worthy of it, I do make an updated top 10 sneaker pickups of the year. Now, it's been a little... um off lately usually i do it the day after um the only reason why i've waited pretty much a week to do this one after i picked up the last one is just because work has been super busy yesterday it's crunch time for us but after next week i'll be able to be a lot more consistent with the videos that i'm uploading but the reason why before that with pickups i haven't really been doing top tens is the more and more shoes that you pick up the harder and harder it is for something to crack into the top 10. But right here, man, you guys know what it is. We have the Air Max 3 or the Air Max 90 in the infrared colorway. This absolutely deserves to be a part of the top 10. And that's what we are going to be doing today. Gonna be putting this into the updated top 10. But before we get into that, man, if you were new here, Make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, join the anonymous sneakerhead family, man. At the time of me recording this video, we were at 874 subscribers, man. That is huge, huge growth over the last week. Thank you guys so much to those of you that who, who have been supporting the channel. The goal is to hit a thousand by the end of the year. Let's make sure that we do that, man. We hit a thousand by the end of the year. I have a pretty big, um, a couple, no, I'm not gonna say pretty big. I have a couple ideas for a giveaway that I could do once we hit a thousand subscribers on the channel. So make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family, man. Also, make sure that you go ahead, smash that like button. Really, really helps with the algorithms, helps bring more people to the channel after you've already subscribed, helps with the algorithm so more people can see the videos and their recommended and can potentially help us hit our goal of a thousand subscribers so we could get that giveaway on and cracking. And then last but not least, make sure that you go ahead and follow my Instagram at Anonymous Sneakerhead. You get a lot of information up there first, polls on the story, questions on the story, kicks of the day, your thoughts on shoes, what's going on in the sneaker culture, all of that. So make sure you follow that. And without further ado, let's see where the Air Max 3 infrared fits into the top 10. All right, YouTube, so to pick up where we left off on the last one, at number 10, we had a very underrated release this year, in my opinion, and that is the Jordan 6 hair, followed by another underrated release, or I should say overlooked release, the Reebok Shaq Gnosis and the Minions or the Shaq Food colorway. Then at number eight, we had the Jordan 12 Indigo, followed by the Air Max 90 Volt at seven and the Air Max 90 Total Orange at the sixth spot. You guys already know how I feel about the rebuild of Air Max 90s this year. Now, let's look where the top five was. At the number five spot, I had the Jordan 4 Black cat and i told you all off the rip it was going to be tough to get that one out of the top five um and then ahead of that i had the jordan one court purple which i still think is the best jordan one release of the year even with the mocha one coming out then at number three we have the jordan five reverse grape or as i like to call them the welch's grape in the two in one spot are not 2020 releases just two grails i was lucky enough to pick up this year number two the nike sb dunk high brown paper bag and at number one the jordan 9 pinnacle brown baseball glove now before we get into where this Air Max 90 infrared or Air Max 3 infrared fits in, there were a couple of changes that I had to make looking, wearing some shoes since the last time I did the top 10 and pretty much my feelings changed a little bit. So the first big change is, I guess it's a little change, but we are going to switch the location of the Shaq Gnosis in the Hair 6, man. I really, really like that hair six i've worn it more than i've worn the shack gnosis so far um got some good fits off with it and i just love the hair colorway but that's it for 10 through 6 and then at number five through one there are some bigger changes made man you know the fall is coming um and it's a shoe that a lot of people i think forgot about i've been wearing it more a couple people asked about it talked to a couple people about that shoe so i gotta move the black cat four up from the five spot to the three spot man i told y'all when i picked this shoe up that's one of my favorite probably my single favorite jordan 4 colorway of all time behind the m m carhartt 4 which is going to be impossible to get and then another change that was made man the court purple moves up ahead of 
the reverse grade five man even though i still love the reverse grade five that court that court purple one is just so so clean so i have to put that at the number four spot now let's see where this air max 90 fits in so back to the top 10 as it looks now when a new shoe goes into the top 10 that means one shoe has to leave the top 10 usually but today i do have an exception man it was hard for me to make a decision and considering that this shoe is yet another air max 90 we are going to have a tie now at the seven spot 10 through 8 is going to stay the same and the seven spot is going to have a tie between the volt air max 90 and the total orange air max 90 they're both cut the exact, exact same way both built the exact same way exact same color blocking feel the exact same so i feel like they deserve to be in the exact same spot on this list and now in number six we are going to have the reverse grape five or as i like to call them the welch's five rounding off the bottom half of my top 10. now let's look into where the top five is going to be so we already know we're going to say goodbye to the welch's five from there and that is where i'm going to slide in the infrared air max 3 or the air max 90 whatever you want to call it absolutely love this shoe in hand man so so excited once again this is one of the more emotional pickups for me man if you look at the top five shoes right now if you look at shoes that elicit emotion two grails at one and two those shoes were very emotional pickups for me the black hat four was an emotional pickup for me because i've wanted it since i was a kid and it came out in 04 and then skipping over to the infrared 90 is another just extremely emotional pickup for me a shoe that i've always wanted very happy that we got it in the form that we did this year now just for a recap before we get back to the video at the number 10 spot we have the reebok shack gnosis in the minions colorway at the number nine spot we have the jordan six hair followed by the jordan 12 indigo at the eight spot we have a tie at seven right now so a tie for seven we have the air max 90 volt and the air max 90 total orange then at number six we have the welch's five or the reverse great five moving over to the top five we have the infrared air max three at the five spot the court purple jordan one at the four spot the black cat jordan four at the three spot the nike sb dunk high and the brown paper bag colorway at the two spot and at number one i could almost guarantee this is going to be a number one for the end of the year but the jordan nine pinnacle brown baseball glove let's get back into this video all right, YouTube, you got to see where the Air Max 3 or the Air Max 90 infrared fits into my top 10 pickups of the year. It fits in just barely breaking the top five. It fits in at the number five spot. You also got to see there were a lot of different things that happened in the top 10 this time, right? Had a couple shoes switch around, uh, the Hair Sixes and the Shack Gnosis. Uh, the Black Hat 4 moved its way up to the three spot. The Court Purple moved to the two spot. Uh, the great five fell from grace big time fell from the three spot all the way to the six spot But it's still definitely in there deserving of being in the top ten But you guys can really see you know what I'm saying as I get to the end of the year as I start to mold my top ten Where my thought process is only sneaker youtuber in the game doing this right now I'm not gonna get to the end of the year and just throw a bunch of hype beast madness at you throw what you want to hear into the top ten I'm doing it live with each pickup so that way you guys know that I'm keeping it 100 by the time we get to December 31st. But that is it for this video, you guys, man. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure that if you are new here, you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell. Join the anonymous sneakerhead family, man. Also, make sure that you go ahead and smash that like button. Best way to support the channel. Really helps with the algorithms. Helps get the video shown to new people. And then last but not least, go ahead and follow the Instagram at Anonymous Sneakerhead. You get a lot of information up there first. Polls on the story, questions, all of that good stuff. But that is it for this video, you guys. I am the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game. And as always, it's all about the sneakers.